You're watching Good Day Tampa Bay. Welcome back, everyone. They're an important national organization celebrating 30 years of service. And joining us this morning, we are happy to have a couple members of Freedom Guide Dogs and some of the dogs themselves. More than 75 blind guide dog users, puppy raisers, trainers, they'll be joining uh, today to celebrate this anniversary. And we're excited to have Sue and Mary with us. Uh, Sue, go ahead and introduce some of these dogs. And one we want to say is, is a puppy in training. Oh, for sure. Yeah. This is Loki. Hi. Loki. Loki is five months old, and you can see he's a work in progress. Uh, this <laughs> is <we> Hank. <laughs> Hank is uh, 15 months old, and he'll be going back for formal training at um, in May of next year. Okay, and it takes a lot, and it is such a vital, vital service. And uh, really, the, the title of your organization, Freedom. These dogs bring people freedom. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit, Mary, about the organization's mission. <laughs> the organization um, places dogs from Maine to Miami yeah um, on the East Coast they bring the dogs to the blind person and that way they don't have to leave their home so if a mother is a single mother or a, a man or woman are working yeah. and they can't take the time off from work it just makes it easier for them so the mission of Freedom Guide Dogs is to give another pair of eyes for those who cannot see and they're so beautiful and they're so intelligent. And you know, I look at, at these young dogs, right? Tell me a little bit about what it takes to train a dog to become that reliable force. Well, we are the elementary school teachers. Let's put it like <laughs> I that. I like that. Um, we are, uh, we do the sit, stay, stand, go to restaurants, go to um, stores, get them socialized. Yeah. Um, and then we turn them over to a formal trainer. Okay, so this is the very beginning. This, and then yes. today you're celebrating 30 years. What does it feel like to, to hit that milestone for an organization? Oh, it's, it's wonderful. And, you know, Freedom has also opened a satellite office in Coco, and our main campus is in New York, and that's where they do the breeding of the dogs. And so they've just touched many, many lives and have done a great service for many, many um, blind people in the area. Yeah, and what would you want people to know? I mean, it is so hard for me to not pat these dogs, but working service dogs we know not to interfere with, but they're so cute. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm behaving. I'm, I'm sitting and staying, okay? But it's hard. It's really hard. But what would you like right. people to know in terms of how they can help support people who use service animals, and in particular, the blind? Right, absolutely, because um, this is... Um, being a guide dog is one of the hardest jobs any dog can do and so they have to really remain focused because they have a lot to take in not only overhangs such as tree limbs and what's on the ground and what's on the side and um, you mind be you mind nice yeah. um, but they have a lot to pay attention to so really not talking to them um, not calling them not feeding them not petting them all makes sense you've got to let them do their important they job have, they have and to really yeah. be focused yeah, really yeah we be focused. we salute you these little puppies are playing thank you so much for being here enjoy your day enjoy your anniversary thank Thank you. And Thank you. we will be right back. Okay. Thank you. Much. Oh, it's a party now. <laughs> We've got the info for you.